Welcome everyone to today's video, the first video in a series called Retro Reboot, where I take old games and get them to run on newer PCs. In today's video, we're going to be going over a game called Gears of War, which is one of my favorite games. It's a really good game, but on the PC, it's a little bit hard to get it to run correctly. There's a few things you have to do, not too many compared to like other games to get them to work. This one is actually very simple. Now, for Gears of War, for some reason, this game had an expiration date, and the only way to get it to run was to go down here and change your clock to, like, December 2008. I don't know why Epic Games or Microsoft did this, but the only way to get it to work is to take your time clock and actually put it to December 2008. But in order to get around that, there is a patch that will actually fix the title. They, they say it's like a TU3, but you just go to this link here, download here English. This is the update, the Windows update. I'll post the link down below so you guys can go right to it, but we're just going to go to download here in English. It's going to pop up and drop down right here. Go ahead and uh, just get this to run. I've already installed it, so there's no re no reason for me to actually do that but all I got to do is just go to the link download the English version wait for it to download and just click run after you've installed the patch for the Gears of War for the title update it should be Gears of War TU3 after you install that patch you actually have to go into Google just type in games for Windows Live and you should come up with this at the very top of Google called GFWL Microsoft. This is games for Windows Live which no longer functions properly but you do need to download it and install it so it has the correct xlive.dll file in order for the game to launch. After the patch is applied you should come to this screen right here. You can go ahead and go to options, go to game options, well not game options. Go ahead to video settings and you can change your resolution to 1920 by 1080. When the game first opens up, it's going to be like 640 by 480, really low resolution, but this game does have the capabilities to 1920 by 1080 to play it at full 1080p. There's no there's nothing you need to do like you don't have to config the any file or the config settings to get it to run it just automatically has the resolution in it which a lot of the older games that I'll be doing there's a lot of fixes in order to go through that but Gears of War luckily it has 1920 by 1080 so you don't need to do anything to get it to fix like that go ahead and put all the all the settings on the highest possible I'm sure with the newer PC you'll be able to run it at the highest settings with no problem you can go ahead and turn VSync off you don't actually need that um, there is a lot of screen tearing in the game even if you put VSync on it's not gonna help with the screen tearing it's gonna it's gonna tear no matter what no matter what monitor you have for some reason it's just a major problem with this game in general there's no way that I've found out how to fix it so it is what it is. After that, you can go to DirectX 10 anti-aliasing. You can have it off, or you, if you want DirectX 10 for the best graphics, you can go ahead and go on and anti-aliasing, which if you just put it to on, then it's not going to have anti-aliasing, which you want because it's going to make the game look as good as possible. Now, when you finish doing all the video settings, you are going to have to restart the game in order to apply those settings. But since I've already done that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like when you play the game. Now we're going to go into the campaign here, and it's going to come up, no gamer profile is signed in. Without signing in a gamer profile, you cannot save your progress. Unfortunately, I haven't found a fix for this. This is tied with Games for Windows Live, and since Games for Windows Live does not function properly, it's not going to save your progress. I have not been able to find a workaround for that. But it's a it's a problem with like even games for like Fallout 3 that needs games for Windows Live in order for the game to launch. So unfortunately when you play this game, you won't be able to save your progress. I'm pretty sure there might be a workaround. I cannot find an option right now. But I will update in the description at a later time if I have found the workaround. So we're going to go into campaign here, go to single player. 
this campaign is really short so i'm sure you guys would be able to sit sit down and actually do a full playthrough it's only a couple hours long not too long now the game is capped at 62 fps which is unfortunate because most gaming PCs nowadays, especially with older games, you're able to get a much higher FPS. But this game is unlocked at is locked at 62 FPS. But I did find a workaround that was able to uncap the frame rate so you get maximum FPS. This I went through a lot of forms, a lot of forms trying to figure this out. I was able to figure it out after many hours of searching, so I'm gonna share it for you guys now because it was an awful process in order to figure this out so to look at your current fps you t go to the command console and in order to go to the command console you're going to hit the tilde key after you hit the tilde key you're going to type in stat all caps fps all caps and in the right hand corner it's going to show that you're capped at 62 fps this is what you need to do to uncap the frame rate so you're gonna hit your console key and you're gonna type in set engine with a capital E dot game engine capitalize game and capitalize engine be smooth capitalize the S in smooth and then frame rate all one word capitalize the F and capitalize the R and all capitals false after you've typed this command code in set engine dot game engine B smooth frame rate false and hit enter this is going to uncap the frame rate which I'm pretty sure many of you have looked online that have played this game and was like how do I uncap the frame rate there's nothing in the forums or reddit or anything that told anyone how to uncap the frame rate so this is the fix to uncap the frame rate as you can see in the top right hand corner I'm getting about 300 FPS instead of 62 now if you go into the uh, if you go into the config file for war engine and try to edit the any file in there to make B smooth frame rate equal false it'll crash your game it'll just crash it you won't be able to load it it won't do anything you'll get a runtime error and it'll just cancel out your game which nobody wants and this is the only fix to do now if you go in if you go into the any file you're just gonna crash it don't even change anything in the any file which a lot of the older games you do you do like mess with the config files but for this game don't touch the config files at all just hit the console key and type that in unfortunately though you have to type it in every time you go into the game every time you launch the game you're gonna have to retype in that command it does not save it in the config file so that's the only problem with this workaround is that you have to type it in every time but luckily you know we can uh, have uncapped frame rate so I'm just going to go through the game here a little bit and show you guys how it's running with the uncapped frame rate and everything. If you guys do have any problems with the game or any unfortunate errors that you encounter, go ahead and leave your comment down below and I will, I will try my best to get back to you guys as soon as possible. So we're just going to go through the game here and see how it runs. You probably do notice that there is some screen tearing, but even if you turn VSync on, it's not going to help with the uh, with the screen tearing. It's just something you have to suffer through in this game. There's no fix for it whatsoever. But it does look really nice with uncapped frames. Playing at 62 frames, nobody wants to do that. You want maximum FPS. The game does really look nice though. The graphics are 
For this old of a game, it's really nice. So that's pretty much it for the gameplay. I know there wasn't any sound for the gameplay, but I'm pretty sure it's all right. You guys got the gist of how it's running, uncapped frame rate. We did the TU3 patch to remove the timestamp, and we also did the Games for Windows Marketplace patch, which will fix the uh, the launch error that you guys received. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This fixes all the errors that you encounter when playing the game. This game is only available as a hard copy, the original. This is for the original Gears of War. The new edition, the ultimate edition, is available for purchase on Xbox Live or Windows Marketplace Live. But this is for the OG Gears of War, which you can only get as, um, as a hard copy. So if this helped you out, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that like button if you've enjoyed the video and it helped you out. Also hit that subscribe button. There will be many more videos of Retro Reboot where I'm taking old games and getting them to run on newer PCs. Thank you so much guys. I will see you in the next video.